So I think that my passion for journalism really stems, I think there's one specific instance that I remember, and that was when I was in college and September 11th happened. And I remember being a student in college, sitting on my couch, watching the coverage unfold, and I was a student of, of journalism at the time, and thinking to myself, wow, this is a moment. This is a moment when the country needs people in the news business, in journalism, not only to provide them with those critical updates as to what was going on, but to give them some context as to what was happening, why it was happening, and what was going to happen next. And then also to those news anchors and reporters who were broadcasting that day, they were the calming faces for people out there. And collectively as a country, we needed those people to tell us that, you know, we don't know if everything's going to be okay, but we're going to look ahead, we're gonna forge this path together. And that was definitely a moment when I remember thinking, this is why I wanna get into this business, because I want to be one of those calming voices, and I wanna be one of those people that are informing the community, because that was certainly a time when people were looking for any tidbit of information. At the time of September 11th, I had an uncle who was living in New York, and I was also one of those people who wanted to know, is my family member okay, and what's happening there? So I think for me, that was definitely a driving force behind wanting to stay in this lane of getting into journalism and becoming one of those voices to help inform people. Also, you know, in terms of like my path and where I got, one of the conversations that I remember very early on, and I honestly don't even remember who I had the conversation with. It could have been in an internship or maybe it was somebody, you know, at a station when I was just starting out, but they said, you know what, you're really not cut out for this business. They said, this is just not your path and you might just wanna look into doing something else. And that lit a fire inside of me. And I thought, you know what? I'm not just gonna let this one person in my life define what I'm going to be and define my life and my career. So I very quickly used that negativity to fuel that passion and that fire inside of me because I knew you know, that, that this was something that I wanted to pursue, that I wanted to do, and I think that that moment in my life ended up defining me in a really unique way.